Hello, this video was created by Kanchan Iyer, a senior information developer at BMC Software, and narrated by a computer-generated voice. In this video, let us understand the different types of audit options, how you can enable audit for a class and its attributes, and how you can view the history of changes to a configuration item, or CI, by using audit. As a system administrator, you can track changes to a configuration item by tracking the changes made to the class and attributes to which the CI belongs. Let us see the audit options for a class and the ways to enable audit. In this example, we will enable audit for host name attribute of all computers that have capability list as server. On the CMDB UI, navigate to class management and then classes. On the Class Manager UI, search for the Computer System class. Edit the class. In the Edit Class Details page, review the audit information. You have an option to select the audit type, as Copy, or Log. If you select copy, a copy of the AR class form is made by CMDB to store the audit details. If you select the audit type as log, the audit details are stored in the log form that has a name CMDB default audit log. You can specify any other name if required. Select the audit type as copy. If you want only specific instances of the class to be audited, you can write a qualification to filter out those instances. Click the pencil icon to open the qualification builder. In this example, we will write a qualification to audit computer systems that have the capability list as server. Enter the qualification as capability list like server. Save the qualification. Save the changes. Let us now enable audit for the hostname attribute. Search for the hostname attribute. Click Edit. On the Edit Attribute page, select the Audit option for this attribute. Available options are Audit, Copy, Audit and Copy. Select Audit. Save the details. Click BMC underscore computer system to return to the class manager UI. Let us see how you can track the audit history when changes are made to CIs. Let us search for computer systems in BMC CMDB. Select calfc6.testlab.calbro.com computer system and view it in CMDB Explorer. Click Show CI details. Note that the capability list is set as server. Also note the host name. Right click this computer system and click edit instance. Edit the host name attribute. Save the changes. Promote the changes to the asset dataset. Select lawn4owner.calbro.com computer system and view it in CMDB Explorer. Click Show CI details.
Note that the capability list is set as desktop. Also note the host name. Right click this computer system, and click edit instance. Edit the host name attribute. Save the changes. Promote the changes to the asset dataset. Let's search for computer systems in the asset dataset. The search returns these CIs in the result. Expand calfc6.testlab.calbro.com. Click CI Audit. You can see the operations that were performed on the CI, in this case, it is update. You can also see the submitter details the date when this CI was changed, and the attributes that were changed. If there are multiple rows, you can sort the rows in ascending order or descending order. You can export the audit results as a CSV file. Click the arrow to expand the operation. The details of the changes are displayed here. Now, let us view audit for the other CI that we edited which is lawn4owner.calbro.com. Click CI Audit. You can see that Audit is not triggered for this computer system because it does not have capability list as server, and does not satisfy the qualification that we specified earlier. You can find detailed information about Audit on docs.bmc.com. I hope this video helped you understand how you can use audit to track the changes to configuration items. Thanks for watching.